It's almost as if everything we just experienced was a bad dream. Because we're not done yet. Although now I can't help but feel closer to the people around us on Timber Hearth. And to our other friend out there on the Quantum Moon. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Outer Wilds. And we are not finished yet. Even though we did get to the canonical ending of the game, we still haven't explored the contents of the Echoes of the Eye DLC. Deep Space Radio. Hmm. And that actually enables us to keep that going. Well, we can probably search for it anywhere from now on, right? Yeah, there's something way out there. Anything else we can see? When I was here earlier, I assumed that the glitch was the interloper entering the system. That's not the quantum moon. The interloper is over there. The quantum moon's right there. What is... Oh no, that's Timber Hearth and its moon. So which one has the issue? Dark Bramble, the quantum moon, and the hourglass twins. Interloper, that is something new. That is something new. Now, Dark Bramble was quite scary indeed, but even more so was that ending where, like I said in the actual video, it kind of went almost Twin Peaks on us. Which is cause for concern because it means these developers certainly know how to do horror. Now, is there anything else we can actually do with you? We've been to you once before. That appears to be an inclination, which I assume is the satellite's own inclination. So, what's the issue? Is there something on you that can be repaired? Oops, I just, uh, kind of completely screwed up the deep space satellite. Satellite angle 40 degrees. There's a weird thing between it and the sun. So we need to hit it at 40 degrees, which means... Yeah, probably a lot of waiting around, so that kind of sucks. Ooh, we're actually very close. Oh, it's actually very much lined up with the start of the game. Wait. Oh, that's weird. It's like a shadow on the sun, almost. All right, let's head towards it. Man, what would you even call that? Look, we can't see the sun through it, but we can see the sun station. It's completely eclipsing the sun. What is this? Let's get closer so we can try and see these edges. What is this? I don't like that music. And this doesn't look like no my construction at all. Where'd our ship go? Oh, it's down there. Oh, we should have landed it in here. I didn't realize there was gravity. Unknown language. This isn't the Nomai, truly. Could this be something even older than them? They never talked about this either. Could this be something they didn't even know about? That activated on contact with light. Okay, so the Nomai had their doors operated by moving our eyes. These are activated by artificial light. Hmm. That was weird. If you look at the shape of those things, like the two dark circles in the middle of the larger green ovals, they almost looked like owl creatures for a second, didn't they? Owls chilling in the attic of a barn. Rotate! Hey! Not what I wanted, not what I wanted, not what I wanted! Whoa. <laughs> Are we on a halo ring? Oh, they actually propel us in a given direction. We can use them as thrust. Flashlight thrust. That is so cool. Okay, way to go from horror to wonder again in a dime. Oh, we're being picked up. 
I don't think we were teleported. I think we were just dropped down onto the structure. Like, this whole thing has some kind of cloaking that we're only able to see from that angle. Okay, this being an actual artificial construct sort of gives the idea that maybe it could have arrived even after the Nomai. Uh, but could the disrepair indicate that whoever lived here is long gone? Much like the Herthians, this whole thing has almost like an old world interstellar vibe. Actually managing to accomplish space travel with like such primitive technology. Are they some kind of like goat creatures or deer? Or no, those might be scales. They might even be more reptilian in nature with certain qualities of mammals. But it does seem like they're gone. Do I have to maybe place you over here? So this probably turns on a backlight if you're actually in the thing. Yeah, right here. Uh, I'm not done yet. Wait, what was that? Oh! Oh, 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 oh! So this place is crumbling in real time as well! We need to figure out how to get that screen lit. Yet another species not at all unlike ourselves. They lived in the grass and trees, they fished, and... We just kind of had a good time of it, it seems like. Oh, we can actually pick up a lantern. Uh, what do we do with these? Hello. Were you always like that? We can actually... Ooh. Spooky basement, but... A spooky basement that's now submerged in water. Let's have a look. We do have this spacesuit for a reason. Whoa. They're all corpses, all strapped in. I wonder if they weren't waiting for some disaster to happen? Maybe this is some kind of escape pod that might have launched? Ah, oh, those are so creepy to look at. But the fact that there's still flesh on their bones does sort of suggest that they came after the Nomai. I wonder if they researched them as well. But maybe they preferred to hide. They left no trace of themselves in the star system besides here. Ooh, wait. Ghost matter? Maybe they were destroyed by the same disaster. I mean, if it is to be found here. I mean, these crystals are all over the place from the interloper. What is this? Ah, it's another one of you. This one we don't have to pry from their cold, dead Charlton Heston hands. Can we maybe do something with this? Artifact does not fit. Wow, it's actually taking a really long time to reach us. I had forgotten how far out we are, even farther out than we would have been at any other time during- Wait, no! No, the loop's just beginning again anyway! It doesn't reach us here. This place isn't affected by the collapse. Okay, further science needed. What happens if we remove the warp core and come here? What happens if a lot of things? Who were these people? What does their stuff do? I have so many questions. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I already know about the launch codes. What? No, I was going to tell you about using the ship log to set destination markers for locations you've visited before. It's a brilliant feature if I say so myself. Wow, Slate, how do you come up with these incredible ideas? Oh, I do the best I can with what I've got. Really, you're too kind. That was... extraordinarily convenient timing, thanks. Sure thing, Hatchling. Mark location on HUD. There we go. 
So it is actually always there. It's just that from that one angle, for some reason, we're able to see it. And there is, in fact, ghost matter. Whoops. So it's not completely gone. I guess it dissipates on contact with water. So we'll have to make a note of that. Anywhere we can't access due to ghost matter, we maybe can access once this place starts to flood a little bit more. Uh, I so wish I could read what you have to... Oh, look at that. Artificial lighting. Is this place's power maybe not in full working order? Oh, this is so cool. Alien slideshow. So they too were aware of the eye and some kind of world with rings and a moon. And what the heck is that thing? So there's the eye. And it seems like it's sending something out. Consuming this solar system and perhaps reaching another? Theirs. Oh, they received the signal as well. Maybe at the same time as the Nomai? Oh, wait, no, they actually are owl creatures. Oh, my observation from before was actually correct. Owl with antlers, how cool is that? And he ran. Hey, Bill, Steve, look at this. And I guess that's... What is that? This must be this craft. So they came here in this ship. A whole colony ship looking for the eye. But who knows if they actually found it or not. Now what is this a demonstration of? Something underground? Something being contained underground. Shining a light through the lower part, igniting something in the upper part, causing it to be sealed. They locked something away. All right. River Adventure! Oh, look at how dynamic this is. It actually flows really well. We can explore more. Okay, we need to get over there right away. Ah, uh, this game... This almost feels sort of like what the rest of the game could have done if it didn't have to focus so much on narrative. This is truly exploring an alien race, while the Nomai always felt... I don't know, you always felt that kinship throughout the game. Here, we have no idea what they were actually like, except that they did seem to share that same sort of curiosity, but... There may also be a religious angle as well. We can actually refuel our jetpack from here. Huh. Now, personally, I wouldn't be filling up my jetpack with an unknown substance, but you do you. Presumably everything changes once that happens. That is nuts. I'm glad they haven't abandoned the interesting imagery. Higher ground. Higher ground. Oh, we need to keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. It's not enough. Oh. Oh no, this is the worst place to be. I suppose not the worst. It's another one of these places. Maybe they did actually find it. That staff is like some kind of scanning device. Maybe we can find one. That looks like a negative reaction. Do they maybe... 
have some form of, like, telepathy? That looks like a vision of a supernova. That is truly horrifying. They abandoned their religion. They thought it had called to them, but when they saw the future that it was showing them, they decided that it was evil, that it was malicious. Maybe out of the belief that it was causing that cycle. That it causes the destruction of the universe. And for all we know, maybe it does, but... There's a whole lot missing. And it's only then that they decided to hide. Maybe they even arrived before the Nomai. If someone played the ending, the main ending of the game and rejected its conclusion, rejected its view on the situation, which, to be honest, I sort of do as well. I can understand what they're saying. Look, we can even see the damaged slides represented visually on the model itself. This again. Placing a second chain. Each of those represents... Hang on, there's a slide reel for each chain. Each one is showing a different symbol. This one's seemingly showing two overlapping sets of circles. The other one, and the next three. So there's probably three of these in total. Alright, look. It ain't over until the supernova sings, so let's get on here. And head down this canyon of doom. Ooh... Ooh. Ooh. Electrified electricals. Yep. <laughs> and here's the end. And But I don't think now is going to be the time for us to explore what's over there, if we even have the ability to make it. A lantern. We can take that if need be. They had photography. Oh, and another one of these. Hang on, wait. Hmm. It seems to show maybe some kind of hidden current, hidden cave. Where would that be? That would be on the right side of this. Potentially only accessible after the flood, maybe? But here we are, the cave underneath the chapel. Or at least that's what I'm going to start calling them. And some kind of tower. Something to do with that ringed planet. Maybe that's where they came from. They definitely came from the same system. There's a slide reel. Ooh. A first person perspective. They had the ability to record this. Oh, I see. They're removed when the lights dim, and they went in there with artifacts. Maybe as some type of means of preserving themselves. Obviously, it didn't work, but they knew something was going down, or they were causing something to go down. Yep, yeah, there we go. That was what we needed. They need to be removed. So, wait, so does that mean that I discovered this by accident the first time? Or, well, no, I suppose they all went out. And here we find a fire still lit. And each of them has their own fire. Please tell me I'm not gonna... Are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> no time like the present, right? Oh, man, I really, really hope there's no problem here. Oh, uh, is this still going to be safe to eat? This can't be... I just saw a shadow creeping in from the right side, and I do not like it one bit. That's from the stick. Okay. 
Well, I'm certainly not going to doze off here, surrounded by the dead. Please tell me I don't have to pry these things. Oh, there's the dam. Uh, if I were to doze off. Okay, it's been a minute. Oh, that feels terrible. Imagine if they were in... No, 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 no. I don't think that was like that, but I could have just not noticed. It's entirely possible that I just didn't notice. But... Look, I came in the door this way. It's possible, yeah, at this angle that I just didn't see it, but that's not what I wanted to wake up to. They're completely dead and rotted. There's no way... They would disintegrate in this. These are rough waters. Artifact, here we are. We know that it carries some kind of flame. We've seen it while they're holding it. So I think we have to go to the tomb in the tower first. And let's, okay, okay, that's good. That's a load off. That's a real load off. Uh, now can we ignite it from this? Can we ignite it from you? No. All right, well we do need a marshmallow so we can heal ourselves up, but I'm still not quite sure what to do with this thing. We've got to figure out a use for this thing somehow. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, it's clearly just like a do not enter sign. Or maybe it's a do not enter sign with a bit more weight behind it. I don't know. This is locked for now. Maybe it'll be opened by the dam breaking. There is a lantern inside. Or perhaps we can go in from underneath. Yeah, here we go. We've seen that before. Something suspended. That thing is inside and casts a light down. That scared the absolute bejesus out of me. That looked like a robed figure facing away from me. Like some kind of space-bound Blair Witch. I'm not sure what else we've really learned from this. Unless, is that like suspended overhead somewhere? Maybe that's a thing? Let's open you as well. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh wait, no, I'm in the right spot for this. <laughs> okay. No, you're right there. You're not hanging, you're underwater. I wonder what would happen if we access this before then. This thing has very not happy music accompanying it. Ooh, even better. Whatever this thing is, our ultimate goal is to release it. They wanted to make sure that this thing stayed gone. If this was a first-person perspective, that's a whole bunch of them converging on one. And this thing had a send-off when they submerged it. They all wanted to see it gone. And then they got bored and went home. Not a puzzle. A puzzle is my least favorite thing. Uh, there will probably be a hint elsewhere, I imagine. But right now, I don't know what it's asking of me. I don't know the combo to this safe. Ah, uh, okay, that's what we're coming back and doing then. I'm actually going to try and get ahead of this classic gag by having it be sun, weird thing, flame, weird thing, Flame. Yep, there we go. They tried to pull that old gag on us where the clue is upside down. Ah, the war room. We gotta remember not to fight in here. Lost communication or some kind of... some kind of calibration. That looks like one of those wheeled control panels and that needs to be activated, but it's destroyed. We could actually walk around up here. Ooh, and there's stuff up here. 
This whole game is just, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. Okay, this looks like it leads somewhat deep. I know those are chairs, but they almost look like silhouetted skeletons, don't they? Nice use of environmental imagery. Yep. That goes down pretty deep. Okay, we'll save that for later. It's another one of those panels displaying how things are supposed to work. Ah, this thing is actually powered by the sun. And there's something else out there. Gotta say, this racer creating technological marvels with very little resources, their cable management leaves so much to be desired. Oh, this brings us back down to here so we can access our ship. So it is actually possible to leave once you've arrived. Okay, cool. Oh, it's hidden in a dark corner. We never would have found it on our own. Something that I like about this game is that it's not afraid to have everything be 100% knowledge-based. It doesn't artificially block you from progressing. It just trusts that you won't look up spoilers, that you'll do things the right way, and take things at your own pace. Okay. Into the hole! Oh, it just sends us back. What is it that I'm meant to see? Five minutes until end of sight. Hello, you're new? I broke time. I broke time. That's not Gabbro. Uh, talk to self. What do you think I'd been doing for 15 hours? Ah! <laughs> What have we done? Jumping into that black hole was a terrible idea. I needed to know what would happen. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm calm. Uh, this got weird in a hurry. Yeah, duplicating living beings probably wasn't what the Nomai had in mind when they built the Ash Twin Project. Maybe the universe doesn't mind two of us. Hopefully not. Besides, an extra version of us is definitely better than if we'd created an extra anglerfish or something. Agreed. We're charming and have fewer teeth. <laughs> There's actually a surprising amount of dialogue for this. That probably counts for something. What do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? Uh, if I don't, then where did you come from? That's a good point. I wonder who's even talking to who right now. Like, which of these dialogue options is which? Look at us, we really are cool. Look, the way we have our sort of neck bandana poncho thing up around the bottom of our visor. We're a real space cowboy. I wonder if I could just duplicate myself forever. Unfortunately, I don't have time for that. Okay, now what happens if... Let's just wait a second. Wait for the boom. And let's go out right now. You destroyed the fabric of space-time. Okay. They're giving me a kazoo version of the theme send-off. Really? Wow, am I- Do they consider my actions just now to be that stupid? Uh, this game is actually making fun of me for being curious. Wow. That's something we can try is to try and send the scout into a black hole, but recall it before before it actually gets there. Or hang on. Oh, we got stuck with two of them? Oh, whoa, whoa! Uh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! I did it again. <laughs> and I get the kazoo again. All right. I have once again stolen the warp core, but this time for nefarious purposes. 
See, I said a couple episodes ago that we probably wouldn't be able to get back there with the warp core because we would never see the satellite at that angle again. But since we now have the ability to lock onto it whenever, we can get over there and see if we survive. Oh, it's just fading out. Now beyond the reach of the supernova, you find yourself the only inhabitant of an abandoned world. Surely something here must be edible. Wow! Way to make survival seem like a fate worse than death, game! I'm actually really impressed with the way they handled that. The sound just completely cut out. It allowed us to exist in that silence for just a few minutes. And in that few minutes, we get an idea for just how creepy and how lonely this existence would be. Alright everyone, so here's the deal. I want there to be some actual progression in this episode. So out of frustration, out of like very clearly being able to see that I need to ignite one of these fires but not being able to interact at all, I just googled it. I just googled it. And, you know, I try to avoid doing that in this series because I want to figure things out for myself. This is one of those times where you figure it out and you don't think, oh man, how didn't I think of that? This is one of those times where you Google it and you think, really? Like, I wish I had just Googled this sooner because this is honestly stupid. It is a stupid idea. In order to light this, you need to doze off while holding it. You need to deliberately waste your own time. Hi. Well, I didn't know that was going to happen, but you need to do a counterintuitive thing when there would be like 50 intuitive ideas that you could do to achieve the same effect. I even literally before this, I thought of igniting a marshmallow and like sticking that in there or something. But no. Oh my god, that pisses me off. But it seems my theory was correct. We can conceal for darkness. And focus to do that. No, 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 no. And we find ourselves back here. I guess the dam broke. All right, let's doze again. God, literally anything else would have made more sense. Let's get out. This ignites. What do you have to show me? Oh, that device that hangs down in the middle is also gone. We can actually leave the area, unlike the projection stones. Which has me a little bit nervous for what's actually going to be up here. What kind of world are we going to be going out onto? It's a whole night sky. Is this even on the ring world? No. No, I don't think it is. It's like they picked up a piece of their home planet and brought it over here. There's a whole secondary thing. I hear footsteps. No, those are definitely footsteps. Oh, I'd forgotten that this DLC was supposed to be more horror oriented, but there's something out here. I can extinguish these candles. Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to do that? Do I need to hide in the dark? That's starting to look more and more likely. Does time still pass the same here? I'm assuming... What is that? I'm assuming it does. I'm assuming it does because the other chamber flooded. Is that maybe like some kind of alarm? It doesn't seem to respond to me in the dark. But what does this do for us? Where are we? I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just moving around hoping I find something. Hearing some very strange sounds out there. Now this one actually only goes in two directions. It's basically a gondola. It's uh bi-directional and we have no ability to steer it. That may be another one of those guardian things. Up, down, ow, ow. 
Ay. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Oh, no, 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 no! If we die, the tower collapses. Oh, here's where we get to the horror aspects. I am so... This is such a cool idea. This game has so many unique mechanics that you just can't do in any other context besides the one that's been established by this game. Well, let's doze off to light this flame for two seconds and then wake up, and apparently that's enough. God. <laughs> Which means we can't really evade, either. Are we still in the same place? That's the first thing we have to establish. A door in the cliff face, meaning probably a cave down there. And see... The only way we're gonna know for sure... Okay, yeah, so it is the artifact which ignites these candles. Oh, this is one of those things! This is one of the things we saw in the slide reel. One of the things they used, actually, to imprison whatever's in that sarcophagus. What is that noise? It's like music. I wonder if this isn't all one area that we can only access certain parts of, depending on which place we sleep. Hi. Oh, 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 it warps. Oh, come on. I'm starting to see the logic, at least. The idea is that we fall asleep and we wake up here. But it's still so counterintuitive because you would have to know that to even guess it. Like, uh I wish there was some kind of hint that, like, you're falling asleep with this. Like, even that could have justified it. I probably shouldn't be doing this. That looks like something I'm probably meant to avoid. It's one of the things. It's one of the things, and they are hunting! Okay, hide, 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 hide. Oh, and they call their buddies, too. They are actually looking for me, and they are presumably hostile to outsiders. Oh, I... The last thing I expected from this game was patrolling enemies. All right. I think at this point, we're probably better off moving on to the other location for now. Yeah, that thing is about to go. Now we have a definitive goal for each of these. The first one, it seems like our goal was probably to reach that house. But here, here our goal is going to be to reach that statue in the center. Now I can see another one of those things over here. One of those towers around this way. At least I think that's what I was looking at. Let's light as many of these as we can. These doors don't appear to be affected by this, by turning on the candles. Alright, well, if we go up, we do have a one of use guys. And, oh, I just realized it's like a hand wrapping around us to pull it towards it. Until we can figure out how to open these things, that's kind of worthless. Oh, they only open in the dark. It's the opposite of what I was thinking. Now we know that at a certain point that tower will collapse, so we still have to be careful. I believe the clomping sound was coming from beneath us, so... Okay, and that immediately does that and wakes us up. Oh, I see. That's the point of that. Okay, we haven't turned you on. Oh. It lights that whole area. It really just shows us that it's there. Ooh, a boat. Get over here, boat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! Ah. Oh. What timing. As far as advancing in this storyline is going to have to do with that alternate world. 
that they've seemingly walled themselves off into. That's a terrifying world at that, and they are certainly not as welcoming as the Nomai would have been. But we still don't understand their exact nature. Okay, so checking our ship's log, the Shrouded Woodlands are their own entry. So that means that each of the dream areas we enter is its own place. It's not just different corners of the same map, as I was thinking. There's something right there. I'm not sure if we've seen that before. It doesn't really look familiar, but I might have been there in, like, the first episode. That's the, that's the broken bridge. We still haven't figured out how to get over there, but if I haven't been here before, maybe we can access it from the back. Wait. Oh, wait, can we get through there? I'm actually seeing like a sort of, uh, what, what, do you, what do you call that? I can't, I can't think of the name for a hole in the earth that leads to water, but there's one of those there. I think we'll go there first. Oh, I'm about to have a bad time, I think. Yep, I've screwed myself. Okay. Uh, I'm so glad that that doesn't kill you outright, that it gives you, like, a moment of panic where you have to, like, figure out where you've ended up and what you're going to do about it. There is an underwater cave thing with a house in it. What is this device? Ooh, there's another slide reel right here, so we'll have to take this some... Oh, are you doing a Resident Evil on me? Are you doing one of these weighted puzzle things? No, no, this door has actually just closed on me. I do have to wonder as to the nature of these creatures. Are they actually hostile? All right, there's more to explore here. Whole bunch of artifacts, but I'm wondering if I shouldn't maybe take this to a location with a lantern or just keep going and hope there's one ahead. Oh, this is the back door to this! Okay, so we can actually just look at this up. Okay, so it's another one of these. Oh, this is one of those devices that we saw in the dream world. Because it sort of looks like a telescope, but maybe it can, like, project light? It looks like they're holding a tablet with the marking on it. And maybe an artifact in the other hand? And now they hand this off to another who leaves with it. Oh, look at that! There's a hidden one of those teleports. The hand thing that grabs you and pulls you in. And that leads to a hidden cave. And just as these things can turn on lights, they can also shut them off. So that will actually enable us to access the tower. And from there, there's a circular stairwell that leads into some kind of cave. So I'm seeing now, actually... See, I've, I've been thinking on a two-river paradigm. But looking over here behind the church, what I'm seeing is that there's actually three. It splits in three right here. Two of them lead to the same place, and only one leads here. Ow! Oh, no, 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 no. I just got knocked right off. Uh, come on, come on, land, land! Uh, point break. Extreme sports, uh... And, oh, we can go down that way. It splits off even more. I'd only seen that right path. Okay. Uh, and we reach the new section of Popeye's Log Flume. Should be a lot more to explore here. In fact, if I'm right about the geography of this, through here should actually be the back end of the area where the bridge is out. The number one thing that I'm hoping for right now is for a way to translate this. Their text is actually a lot more sparse than the Nomai, and I think the reason for that is because it would be pretty annoying to be seeing it everywhere and then find a tool for it and have to go back and translate tons of things. But I really am... See, the biggest value to me in translating their text is just to understand the voice that they speak in. 
because the nomai had a very particular tone. They had this tone of curiosity and wonder and basically care for each other and the other species in the solar system. These guys, from what I've seen so far, it's a lot more creepy, more hostile, more like, I guess, fundamentalist vibe to it. But we don't actually know that for sure. We can launch the scout down there, and there is a slide reel on that table. What say you, scout? Uh, some doors. Another portrait on the wall. Uh, we can launch down here as well. Hmm... So, how do we get light onto that? Will the scout actually be enough light for that to work? Oh, it is! It is rotating! So, okay, that's cool. That's a cool way to introduce that mechanic, actually. Alright, so... And here we are. I'm gonna place you here. And we've gotta go grab that slide reel. Now, what is this? Because this actually doesn't look like something I've seen before. What is that? Hang on. Am I crazy for seeing a shape coming out of that? I mean, maybe it's just a plume of smoke. And it identifies this, possibly as something negative if those other displays are to be believed. Text describing it, which we unfortunately cannot read. If I were to come over here... No, I can't translate it off the wall. Not that I'd be able to anyway. Oh, that's the that's the area where we enter, I see. There's one of the hangars. So we need to go see that one in particular. I wonder if we need to... Okay, so if we head down from the hangar and up and to the left, that's how we get to that one. And put you over here. Here we go. This is going to be the one that explains it. Now, I'm curious to see how they indicate this visually. Okay, so the ring world isn't their home world, but one in orbit of it. They have insects on their planet. They must have lost their planet as well. And it seems like, like the Nomai, they do sort of care for each other. It looks like they're trying to comfort each other. One of them is missing an antler. I feel so horrible for the races in this game. The Nomai, the Herthians. The Herthians actually least of all, because they, at least for the most part, don't know it's coming. But the Nomai and these owl creatures, it seems like they did. More burned areas. Why would they... See, this is the question on my mind now, after seeing that, because that casts it in a different light. Why would they try and destroy the entire record of their history, except for a few remnants? And my prevailing theory right now is that they just wanted to forget about it, that there was anything before. I'm not sure I would have figured that out, even if... Even if I had seen this, honestly. Like, granted, it's about the best way possible you can convey it. I... I don't know if I would have figured that out. You won't have that element early on, but... Okay! Well, this was the wrong place to be for that. If you're so close, a boat won't save you! Well, that was a pickle. That's a slide reel on fire. Ghost matter. Yeah. Alright, we can navigate through here, we just gotta be careful. Kind of interesting how ghost matter actually ended up here as well. Confused timeline-wise. I wonder if the thing that destroyed the Nomai... It must have happened after they already went to sleep, right? Because it didn't wipe these guys out in a similar fashion, even though it is spread across the Stranger. 
And here we end up over here. Oh, it's not just a cabin. It's another shrine to the eye. There's something behind the wall. A chain, some kind of hoist. And another of these guys. Alright, so we'll have to figure out the combination. Yeah, whatever this chain behind the wall is, it has to have something to do with a hidden password somewhere. I found a slide reel in the hidden gorge that shows an explosion, so that wasn't supposed... I kind of thought that was supposed to happen because it looked just like the aftermath of a lot of their tech. All right, we'll check that out next. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, and there's gravity. I'm, I'm being pulled down. Wait, can we land on this spoke? Another one of these places. It looks like there was at one time a fire in the middle. Hey, uh, yeah, maybe we should close this. I wonder if after a certain amount of time, this wouldn't, uh, this wouldn't run out of oxygen. There's another artifact in, uh, um, 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 um! Okay, here is where I would have figured it out. Man, if it weren't for that one, like, side alley, I would have eventually figured it out. It just would have been a few more hours of me aimlessly wandering around. God, okay. Well, I'm glad we got closure on that, at least. Basically, I rescind my criticism from being too obscure and just kind of place it into the category of it would have taken me way too long to find this area. So let's go check out the one in the other room. Now, why are you pointing at the chair? Oh, it's the same thing, basically. But wait, so that raises another question, actually. What were they doing in here? Maybe this is just where they developed the technology? Here's another slide reel, so let's go see what this has to say. In you go. Ah, I bet this will explain how to light it. So I guess this is actually an evolved lantern, which makes sense given its ability to focus its beam. I get it. So if this is like an early form artifact, which it is even straight up calling it, then maybe it's like incomplete or had something wrong with it. Howdy boys, slumber party. No, this one doesn't appear to actually work. So now having seen the full manner in which the artifact thing is explained, unless there's some other functionality that I don't know about, how do I feel about the decision to Google it in retrospect? Well, having found where that stuff actually is, I can safely say that I would not have seen that had people in the Discord not told me to use the signal scope. It would have been a lot of extra time on my own looking for that. And when time is literally money, that wouldn't have been worth it. So I don't regret Googling, however, what I do regret, and honestly, this is something that I should have done because it's something that I've done for other games, is I shouldn't have searched for how to do the thing. I should have searched for how to figure out how to do the thing. Because look, I'm a person who watches movies and plays video games and goes on the internet. It is not a safe place for spoilers for most things. I caught up to the MCU in 2019. So I've kind of become sort of an expert at knowing when to terminate a paragraph mid-sentence and come away with just the right information I need. So what I should have done was Googled where you find this information and reading a couple of lines would have told me there's other areas on the surface and I would have looked for it then and found it. So basically the mechanic isn't poorly explained. The explanation is hard to find. 
and it's time for us to start exploring Dreamland more deeply now that we have some leads on what to do there. Well, let's do it. Once more, we find ourselves in the dark. Oh, this section is so creepy. Uh, like that. Oh, I remember. Right, right, right. This was where we wanted to snag a boat before. And due to timing, we lost it. Okay, so that doesn't pull you towards, it only propels. So we have got to wait for another one, right? Oh, no, you can actually just kind of materialize one. Oh, it was completely pitch black in there. Now, I'm not... I don't entirely remember. It looks like there's an elevator that can come down here. But was there a boat mentioned in the slide reel that showed us this place? Uh, we can always bring another boat right there. But we can't call that elevator. I wonder if this isn't a boat that only exists in the light, like those doors. Is that the sound of the dam going? Uh, I think it's so cool how, like, aspects of the waking world creep their way into this environment. Oh. This is a representation of their home world. We look up onto that same ring world in the sky. I mean, not ring world. There's a difference between a ring world and a world with a ring. But you know what I mean. What does that show us? Um... Do they have some, like, teleportation ability? I'm not sure I quite understood that the way I was supposed to. Clearly, that large sarcophagus is where they contain the thing truly. That's what I'm starting to think. I think it's basically imprisoned in the real world and imprisoned in this world as well. That's why it has a meta counterpart. Then is it possible that this boat actually connects all of the three areas and we're actually hitting a loading screen when we go through the caves? I'm starting to think that's the case. I think this is the Starlight Cove, and this is that door in the cliffside that we couldn't get through before. Now, there, there, I think, is the burned house. That's what this is. It's bringing us basically on a tour of all the locations. We can use this to access everywhere. Oh, no. Yep, yep, the whole thing will fall over. Because regardless of, regardless of which place I entered, because regardless of which place I'm in, I'm still entering from the same spot. Uh, I feel like I'm all over the place with exploring this, but it's so hard to stay on track when you can't see where you're going. In fact, the design of this segment, uh, when it comes to the candles and such, actually reminds me in a lot of ways of uh, Scanner Somber. We sort of have to paint our environment in order to be able to tell what we're doing. Thankfully, the devs have had the foresight to make it so that uh, all of these candles and lanterns and stuff uh, appear to be persistent between loops. Or not loops, but, you know, between entering the zone. Ooh, that's a cliff. That's a big old cliff and one that we don't need to waste time by falling down. And we cannot make our way across this chasm. Now, what else can we access? All these doors are closed and locked. And we can't extinguish the things around them. Those look like racks for slide reels. Oh, and there is one currently playing. Currently playing, but I hope not currently being viewed, because that's going to make sliding in on that little movie night pretty awkward. Yes, right here. There is one. What, no ship's log updated from that? 
Can I ruin movie night? Ah, oh, you will notice. And you'll kill your light. And will that open a door? That's the question. Yeah, I may have been wrong in my interpretation of these things. I'm starting to think that their rejection is actually quite well-founded. I mean, of course, there was the fact that the universe is ending. But also, they had just been through something similar and wouldn't be able to accept that it was going to happen no matter where they go. All right, let's put this through here. And boom, it actually creates that bridge. I wonder if this technology is going to come into play at all in the actual waking world or if it's something they can only do here. Oh, we've got a Dagobah hut at the bottom of a tree, huh? Always with this planet depicted above a tower. So you can tell that they had art. They had culture. We've seen, like, performance areas. Here we have a dining area with performances. And we have seen that they do care about each other. But the thing just isn't there. Unless, ah, there we go. It was a different one. With an elevator. Oh, always take strange elevators. That's the law of exploration in video games. Ah, whole hidden cave. And here is where we extinguish everything from. Is there going to be a way back, though? <sighs> extinguish that so that we can make our way to the tower. Oh, it extinguished everything. Uh, what are these chains doing? It's like they're picking up a boat. Oh, something down there. An elevator hoisted up. Could I have maybe jumped on that? Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, survival horror! In full in full swing. In full swing. Alright, let's get back in there. Will all that be persistent? Oh, that might have actually benefited me. Jeez, that timing. That's the biggest uh, heart attack I've had in this game so far. Yeah, everything is dark. And finding my way in the dark is not going to be easy. Oh, it's been so long. No! Run, run, run! Ah! Oh. Jeez, that's terrifying. And... Ooh. And all they need to do is blow your flame out to wake you up. That's very interesting. But maybe this is it? No! Oh, jeez. I can't even see you. You have a light, but in an area like that... Hi. What am I supposed to do if I can't see you? Alright, the last few times they've just jumped out of the dark at me. So I think we need to start doing some owl science to figure out how these guys actually work. Yep, 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 yep. It might actually be beneficial to use this light most of the time, so that we'll at least be aware of you before you're right in our face, you know? Yeah, like that. Uh, we can go... Oh, we can go around this way. Huh? This is spooky. There is a method, but it's spooky. All right, down. Down? Ooh. I'm so worried about falling, but uh, we, we can look for longer than this. We know that. We know that we have longer than that. It actually takes, like, a good amount of time for that thing to clang its clangers and wake us up. But hopefully we're past the worst of it. Jeez, it's like, it's... <laughs> I'm struggling to commentate, but that's because it's literally bringing me right back to being, like, six or seven years old and trying to hide from that scary guy in the library in Harry Potter. Oh, but there is one of you here. Jeez, 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 jeez. You're on the left. You probably patrol left to right, right? Nope, there's at least... Maybe two of you? Maybe two, or maybe you just moved. Are you going to be gone now? Oof. Oof. Okay, so luring is a thing. It does work. And we need to go through here. Yes, okay, okay, okay. We made it through. We made it through. Ooh. Man, how much would it suck to die to that? 
Then again, the fact that they don't physically harm us, I mean, either they can't or they don't want to. I just keep thinking back to the fact that whatever's in the sarcophagus, presumably one of them, it does have a campfire. Ooh. Oh, look! It's a whole library of slide reels! They didn't destroy their history, they destroyed what others might find. That was the idea anyway, but they did keep it all for themselves. At least, presumably, we can insert artifact. Ah, uh, so it really is some kind of brain downloading technology. Not magic, but science. It projects like a field over the user and the fire. No wonder there was so much cabling in each of these chambers. Putting them into a... Oh, I see. It sinks them into that sort of dormant state that allows them to enter that world. Oh. An elderly one that maybe they were attempting to preserve with this technology, but something went wrong right as they were brought into the field. But I guess, in the end, perhaps it did work anyway? Okay, slide reel number two. This one depicting the eye. Wait, we've seen this one. No, this is the complete version, one where the rest was destroyed! They created this device to maybe contain it? To prevent it from sending its signal out. Now, that makes sense because, remember, the Nomai said that it appeared to have stopped sending its signal. It entered this system and cloaked itself. Was there maybe an attempt made to preserve their entire world? This is the system they use to wake themselves up. We're already familiar. But they come out and find that they have died. Those dead ones cannot be woken up. I see, okay. Which explains why they don't wake up when we do. Lots of new ideas. I'm assuming that we're more or less done with this part for now. But wait, what about this? Oh, we can open it. But it's been destroyed. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I don't think this is going to last long. Or that I'm going to find anything significant this way. It's always worth a shot, right? You know what's crazy to me? It's only in these moments, right after a loop concludes, that I remember that I'm even still playing the same game. This DLC is so different from the rest of it that I really feel, I don't know, overwhelmed almost, realizing that all of this happens in the same 20 minutes. Oop. Don't mind me just unearthing an ancient evil. Then again, if this really was something that was having some problem with the field... Like, I'm starting to think maybe this is the elderly one that died at, like, just the wrong time, I guess? I don't know. Like, maybe it's not something that they wanted to seal away. Maybe it's something that, like, was toxic to what they'd built. In any case, let's see what we can do. You're gone. And we have to follow that staircase down. I really feel like we're entering somewhere we're not supposed to be. I think we're gonna find out just why this thing is in here. We haven't actually seen this place before. In fact, we're in a cave. I don't see a starry night when I look up. Although there is maybe something coming down from above. But, 
We need to figure out the password to each one. Maybe those can be found within the slide reels? I mean, because we do get to see those slide reels in the thing. Hang on. Oh, it's not able to open. But standing in there gives us a vision. Which shows us... Ooh. So if those lights are out, you can access a chamber that shows that. But what would turn those lights out? That's right, do it. <gasps> okay, so we've got work to do. That's what we learned. Uh, when I get out of this thing, I almost always forget that I have a regular flashlight. Now, what does one do to destroy these things? Maybe we even just have to... Wait here until the whole thing collapses? I don't know. I don't remember. Does this tower... I mean, of course it has a representation in the dream world, but can we actually climb it in the dream world? Okie dokie. So it does have a dream interpretation of that little side entrance. Oh, I see. They're tied to these candles, I betcha. Let's just turn them all out, because why not? Unless, unless maybe they, the rest do need to be on? I don't know. In any case, let us end ourselves post-haste, just after we see what's up here. There we go. What do we learn from this? Yes, yes, yes. All three of these things, plus some... Oh, no! Come on! Okay. Are we going to be able to do this from within here? Oh, those are the passwords. I hope our ship's log records this. That one's destroyed. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is so annoying. Open up. And what about you also destroyed? They buried this information. The only one left is this thing. Okay, well, we've got it. And I can always check tape, I suppose. But I imagine... Oh, wait, no, no, no. This, 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 this. And this one. Ah, this is probably the one in the church. Okay, so they have not told us how to open the seal. They buried that knowledge, but we did gain some other things. Which I really hope it'll show us the solution. Man, ah, oh, we really do have to remember it. Uh, I'm just gonna check tape. Alright, so from checking tape, I'm kind of realizing you can actually sort of tell orientation based on the direction of the ring. So that's down into the left, and if we check tape, it is down into the left. Okay, so we need down into the left, and a this guy. Oh, and that is lifted up. Was there like a secret society formed around this? To destroying the slide reels? This almost seems like it was meant to be kept a secret. There's something down there. Something right over here. Ah, that actually is right up to that area that had the flooded cabin under the cave. And that leads to something else. Okay. It's the submerging of it. And it was after this that they decided to destroy all the slide reels. This wasn't something that was done to them. This was something that they chose to do. Which I was already starting to think, but now it's confirmed. I see, so I guess they sort of backed up the data. Probably into the library that we saw in the dream world, and then started destroying all of this. That's what those tanks are. They had basically green flamethrowers. 
that's what we've been fueling our jetpack with. Huh. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Anything maybe behind these trees? Oh, it is! Oh, that is so cool. Right here. I don't remember this closed door from before. Ah, it's behind all this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it was back here. This was before we knew how these doors worked. That's why. I actually don't even remember if I noticed this the first time. What's down here? Ah, it's another of you. Now, how are we getting out of this one? Ah, there we go. Yep. You guys went to the house. And through the fireplace. Hang on, wait. That looks like something that's gonna kill us if we don't do something the correct way. Unless maybe it is just a leap of faith. Maybe it's a false fire. And we really can just walk right through. Okay, so if we can make our way to the house, that'll be something to do. Something about hearing something secondhand from a distance, I find that so creepy. Alright, well, maybe whatever we have to do involves this teleport. It's kind of the one thing we haven't tried yet. Yeah, the only, the only construction I can find here is this dock. Unless there's perhaps more of a bridge, something to look through. Yeah, we're about to be woken up. Now this time what we need to do is come through here, activate our own second boat launch, and now we should be able to sail all the way around back to that first area, even though the entrance to the first area is flooded. Now here's something interesting. I don't see that guy anymore. If the area floods, does that clear the area of enemies? Like, do they actually truly die when they drown? Come to think of it, I'm not sure I heard the music from the house when I was over there either. Oh, come on. Alright, it's like every dream. Live, die, repeat. Extinguish that so we can come back later. Maybe I could try following you. That feels dangerous, but I... I could potentially do it if I'm slow enough, and you are pretty slow. I mean, if they're all gonna keep going in an endless procession, then clearly they've gotta be exiting somewhere, right? I mean, they're not infinite in number, at least I don't think so. Oh. There's a hidden entrance, a cave, but I've lost you. Okay, we have to be very careful now not to get your attention. But this will lead me to the house. Oh, maybe I should have come earlier when there were fewer of them? What are they doing? It seems like this is maybe some kind of ceremony. There's a creepy image for you. It's silhouette ascending the stairs. Maybe after the flood, none of you will be here. None of you coming up behind so far that I can see. Why is it stopping? Hi? Are you gonna yell at me? You're not doing anything yet. Hi all. Hi! Okay, no, you're gonna yell at me. You're gonna yell at me. You're gonna yell at me big time. Okay, I don't know what else to do about that. You're all there. Maybe I do just wait for the flood. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I didn't hear music coming out of the house. All right, here. It's under this big tree. All right, that's what we need to know then. I hope there's still time. 
I I'm assuming that they're all dead. But if that's not the case, then this is going to be a very, very brash party crash. All gone? All gone? Good. Anything I need here? No? Good? Okay. Self-immolation. Great. Okay, so I have to assume then that this is exactly what we were supposed to do. We need to learn this. Also destroyed. Great. They really did bury every last bit of information. They really did not want this thing getting out. The eye sent out its signal. Reached them here. They said, yo, Bill, Bob, Jim Bob, Jilly Bob, get over here. And they... Oh... Oh, hang on. This is a huge revelation. They completely dismantled their own world to build this thing. They put literally everything they had into this basket. By the way, the stranger is now called the basket. Okay, now, now I'm starting to see why they were so mournful looking at the images of their old world. They gave up everything to come here. And in the end, they felt it was for nothing. So they built this dream recreation of their planet. I have to say, this game is really good at telling stories that I've truly never heard before. So there's you on a boot. Uh, a boot in the Matrix, I guess. Ah, so those caves aren't just a loading screen in-game. They're actually a loading screen in-universe. This is a virtual world. Which again, is one of those things we sorta already knew, but... Hmm... But man, every time we open one of these to find it destroyed, it's so disappointing because it makes it so hard to tell what we actually need to do. I have a feeling opening that sarcophagus is probably the ultimate goal of this. It's not a stepping stone, it's the end result. It's the culmination of everything we're going to learn here. I actually, I really like the ambiguity in the nature of them, which is brought across by not having them speak, and also by having it so that, like, I mean, it's present in everything they do. Like, if you look at their animations when they catch you, they open their mouth as if, like, in another horror game, they might bite your head off. They do that and then very quickly shift to just gently blowing out your artifact. It's just a really cool example of doing storytelling through something as subtle as a quick animation. I think that's really neat. Into the load screen we go. Darkness. Yep. And, ooh. Uh... We have activated Jesus mode. Okay. Things are gonna change around here. We have just figured out how to glitch the system and become gods. They know how to do this and they haven't been doing it this entire time? What is wrong with these stupid owls? Uh, we can... Haboopa you? No, we can actually... Extinguish. This is how we do it. Okay, so we don't actually need that combo because this one we could turn out from afar. We could get there ourselves. But these two we might need. Oh, hey, according to this, Projection 2 is actually over there. That's weird. So wait, let's check it out with the signal scope. Uh, yeah, it's on top of there. Either that or it's in the cave between them. You know what I'm actually starting to think? I'm starting to think that this might actually not be something that's up here at all. This might have been referring to the cabin that's under the water here. That would actually make more sense. Yeah, okay. And just hope that it's something we can do before in the third location, just under the cave. I, f I feel like that might also be something that we've already done. But it is something we can do post-flood. 
I think we just have to lower it, and then maybe there's a way we can jump out. Uh, yep, there's definitely a room. But how might we actually get there? Oh, you know what? We could probably, uh, we could probably send the elevator down. And then try to make it with the jetpack? That might be a little bit difficult. Okay, and we can use those as stepping stones. Slow our roll, because we already have a little bit of damage on us. And here we go. Another of these guys. And another of you guys. Now, we gotta assume that that door is gonna close behind us when we take it. Take you. Now what? Uh, we can launch the scout. And use that to get this. You'll open up. And here we are. Well, that was easy. I literally solved that one by accident before I even had a chance to lay eyes on the mechanism. Where are you taking this? Wait, we, get, we gotta know exactly where this is. Okay, so that's the music area that we've seen before. It's a leap of faith. The penitent man will pass. And then turn out all that behind you, which will disable the Dagobah door. Alright, uh, how? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know all about it. I've literally already seen the end of the universe, dude. Alright, uh, Hal, can you help me translate this new alien language I found? Uh, this language that I found even without leaving the planet from your perspective, but don't worry about that. A new language? Yes, absolutely! Stars above, you bet I can! Oh, and by the way, you have less than 20 minutes to do it. I hope that's not too much of a time constraint. Just give me, let's call it, a hundred samples. Some form of epigraphical codex in six months, and I should have the vague gist of the sort of graphemes this new language is working with. 20 minutes, bud. Take it or leave it. You're, uh, clipping through that wood a little bit, but... Yeah, it's that image we saw in the slide reel of the vision that the strangers got. I've been calling them creatures or owl creatures. I think we'll just start calling them strangers. But it's something new growing up out of it. Now, I wonder what this actually means, though. There's a few more things in these areas that we have to follow up on. I think other than this, I'm pretty much done with this part. Now, we're at the third location. And even though it's not what I'm going for now, I do have to wonder, you know, if the, if the user dies in this field... They still get to come here. They're still preserved. But what happens if I die and get taken in, but the loop occurs? I mean, then again, maybe it doesn't matter that I actually died, because maybe the loop still doesn't occur, and maybe my consciousness isn't brought back until after the loop ends naturally anyway. Ah, yes, this is the music area, which means that this is our leap of faith. Um, it's a video game, and it's a video game where I'm immortal. And it's a simulation in a video game where I'm immortal. So why am I so afraid to do this? Licking down was a poor decision. Oh my god. My stomach is so low right now. That is ridiculous. Why is it having this effect on me? I've been thrown around so many high areas. But for some reason, that was just absolutely stomach-dropping. Extinguish all that, which will put its stuff out, but there's more here. And we've activated the brigade. Enabling us to come back here and back around. But we'll have to survival horror this thing if we're to make our way downstairs to that door, which is the bridge going to be there so that I can get across? And I really interrupted movie night big time this time. Oh no, you found me. You found me. You found me! Oh, come on. It takes so long to do all this. Alright, well, we can get right back in.
we don't have to do all that again as long as we do it all within this loop. And probably opens every door in the place. Oh, including this one. So that will give us an opportunity, and we can go around it. Nope. Pay no attention to the mysterious glow. No! Is there anything that can be done? Is there anything that can be done? Probably not, right? Probably not, probably not, probably not, probably not, probably not! Uh, I think once they're aggro on you, there's nothing you can do. No, oh, you're always gonna come through. Well, okay, maybe if you're doing that, I can do this. No! Never mind. Uh, I don't see one yet, but that just means there's one right around the corner, usually. No, right here! No, 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 no. Nope, stop that, you. How do I get across? How does one get across? Do I need to wait for you to pass? Or not, unless I can leap of faith across this one, too. Oh, I can! Right, I had forgotten about that in the slide reel. Ah, oh, that is actually so stressful, and... We find yet another archive. But I don't know how much time we have. Oh! Is this gonna be where we're able to find some of the true information? Some of the, uh, some of the padlocked panels? This is more burned information. And then creating this new place in its image. Uh. It's such a sad story. Way to make me feel bad for things that are stalking and killing me. Or That's not fair to say, though. They're not killing me. They actually seem somewhat interested in me. I mean, I can't stop thinking about when we entered... When we entered the house with a song, and there was that uncomfortable silence where they were just kind of looking at me. So you, you can place it down... But you can't get too far away from it, because the field is not only local in the real world, but to your projected image. Aw, oh, this thing is such a lame simulation that it actually has rubber banding. So what happens if I try to- I'm not gonna try it right now, because there's still more to see here. But I could try putting it down and walking away. Yep. Did I just do a sneaky, or did I just screw myself over? Well, I can always go down this way. Oh, it actually won't let me- Yeah, now, now it will. Now it will. It wasn't even letting me go over. But now it does? Can I place it down in the dream world? Yes, I can. Make my way back in the dark and... Oop. What was that? Oh, that's me reaching the edge. Oh, if I put it down... I can actually kind of see better. That's a neat trick. All I'm seeing is it loaded in without all the lighting and assets and such. There's a helpful trick! I wonder if I can see the other buddies. Another forbidden archive, and there's more to explore there! Uh, now what happens if we leave this here, right? Walk far enough away into glitch reality, and now we can see these. Okay. Okay, open up. But I can't see it this way. But that's okay, because now I know where these things are. But it's also all for nothing. It really is just burned. Ah, there... It said there was more to explore here, but what? The next experiment is going to be self-immolation. The absolute willpower. 
And now here we are, but what's different about that? There's got to be some reason why it told us. I think actually now, if we die in our dreams, we die for real. I think that's what it's getting at. Crazy this technology they've developed where I'm essentially living on as the representation of a burned corpse in the real world. But then again, they're also mummies, so... I, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's consistent with what we've seen so far. Alright, since this appears to be well and truly gone... We die here, we die for real. That's my assumption. Yep, there we go. I'm not sure what we actually can do with the dying. Wait, it's been right in front of me all along. I know what to do. I know what to do. Or at least I have a partial idea of what to do. Now here's what I'm thinking. We don't know the full extent of how this is going to help us yet, but I can at least test the theory. Gotta roast ourselves once more. The bridge here is protected by light, which will enable those things to see us and ring the bells. Bells don't wake dead physical bodies. There we go. That's how we do this one. We can extinguish that, and that's how we do that one. Now the question is the final one, but how do we go about that? Well, we place you here. This is just me testing an idea now. Hmm. There are invisible walkways, but how do we do that? We can see the internal combinations. That's kind of cool. Maybe there's something to be done with that? Wait. Oh! There we are! Each stage of the combination actually activates a different part of the platform. That is cool. I bet one of these is off camera somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There we go! We figured it out! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Like, sometimes there's that little thing that clicks, and as soon as it does... Oh, I love this so much. All right, um... I've discovered that it's faster to land over here and get an artifact this way than to do it another way. Now, I'll start from the crypt under the tower because this is the place where it's easiest to get onto a boat. Abu. And I could technically do this from here, but I'm going to move on to the next place just so that I know that I won't be woken up by the dam breaking and the end of the cycle. Ain't nothing you can do about me. I like how we don't even hear the bells at all because it requires our physical ears in order to register that. Let's do it. Let's find out why they didn't want this thing getting out. Oh, you want me to go in? You want me to trap myself forever? For science. Ooh. Uh. You could have chosen a brighter wallpaper. Oh, no. Hang on, wait. It's in this moment that a very strong memory is coming back to me. When I bought this game back in, like, October, November, or whatever... Somebody in, I think it was a review, talked about something like, yeah, there's this one particular jump scare that caught me off guard. And I kind of forgot about that. I thought, whatever, I'll hit a jump scare at some point in the game. There's probably a bunch of jump scares. Maybe it's something I've hit already. Or maybe they're going to do it right here. An image of the planet. Maybe the punishment was to be distant from the world instead of directly under it. Did I just trigger that, or was it because of being here for a certain amount of time? The light fills this chamber.
presumably that artifact belongs to whoever lives here. Hi. You're not going to attack me, are you? You're the one that was missing an antler. We saw you in one of the slide reels. Who are you? can transfer your thoughts directly to me. You're the one who unblocked the eye's signal. And for that, you were imprisoned. So I was right earlier. You were the one who didn't reject its message. Then they resealed it. So that must have been the brief moment when the Nomai intercepted its signal. I bet that's the case. Are you inviting me to take that from you? Vision torch. Wait, do I have to hold it down? And now you're learning about us. And what I've learned about what's happened to your people. The vessel. That one's us. This is what we always wanted. We actually just learned a little bit about our own character. Yeah, it's a lot, I know. Roughly 25 hours worth. Uh, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Well, okay, I'll just stay here, I guess. That's fine. I mean, it's obviously a pretty sweet gig. You seem like you were having fun. Oh, good, you did send it back down after me. That's nice of you. 
You know, neither of us can really leave this world. Did you leave this for me? Oh. Man. You had a vision of the two of us walking off together. See that I'm somewhat confused now. Does that mean you want me to get on this boat? Or does it mean you want me to follow in your footsteps? We've actually finished this. We've learned the story of the strangers. And I guess we've at least managed to bring peace to one of them. But there's still more to do. Because completing this means that there is a bit of a variation now on the ending of the game itself. Hi, Chert. Well, I didn't find the coolest dude in the solar system here, this loop. I guess he's really not here if we don't jump in the black hole, but that's all right. Back once more at the vessel. And back once more at the end of time. Oh, and I can't let this series finish uh, without recalling one of the most important discussions I've heard on the Discord. Real bright bunch there. So I commented a couple of episodes ago how this thing seems to have sort of a theme regarding eyes. The Herthians have four eyes, the Nomai three, the Strangers two, and I joked that in the next DLC there will be some race of Cyclops. I was missing the most obvious thing. We're all looking for the eye of the universe. This game is brilliant. I love it so much. It's hard to, it's hard to even express how much I love it. There's my girl, Solanum. Yeah, laugh it up. Forgot about that. Feldspar's harmonica. Shirt's drums. Gabbro's flute, or a clarinet, or whatever you want to call it. And as expected, there is yet another signal. Hypothesis, everyone must be here before we can begin. I'm glad you remembered me. Where do we find you? Oh. what this is. It's the grave of us all. Yeah, I get the point. <laughs> I'm I was just not primed for a jump scare, so it didn't happen. It's you. You can come closer. You don't have to be all the way over there. When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It's too difficult a truth. 
like a light too bright to look upon directly, it burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so, a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Join us. Let's see what happens. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Look, we can't come all this way, learn all this, and then say that someone doesn't deserve to come with us. That was a neat magic trick. You can do magic? We're gonna have magic in the new universe? You wanna start us off? I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. That's what we are. We're the spark that ignites the new universe. I think this calls for a marshmallow. And that's the end once more. Now, it feels weird to be here again, having already given my thoughts on the main game itself. But this integrated in such a cool way. I'm glad that they were able to use this to sort of expand, in a way, on the themes. To give a different perspective on what we had learned up until this point. I'll be honest, I'm kind of glad that I waited until afterwards to play it, because I don't know if it would have landed the same way if I had played this leading up to the ending the first time around. It almost seems like it could be taken as another step on the journey, or as an expansion. An expansion pack, one might say. Uh, but that was the Echoes of the Eye DLC, and that was, in its whole, Outer Wilds. I really admire this game for its ability to use these unique mechanics to tell a story that only it can tell. Only within this context can you get across these themes, can you get across these ideas. I really appreciate having the story of the strangers added to this because honestly I feel like it kind of mirrored how I felt about the entire thing. I mean, even though it portrays this as a good thing, I can't help but feel that as individuals, all of us who are here at the end have been robbed. With the only idea being that, like, maybe in some way, like, as individuals we can live on? But I don't know, that doesn't really seem to be what it's getting at. It seems to be more about our legacy, of seeing all life in the universe and subsequent universes as sort of an evolving document, as steps on the journey to maybe something greater. 
it, it certainly comes together in a way that I think it's able to convey it very intuitively in a way that's pure emotion. And I really admire it for that, for its writing, for the way for the way you discover this as you go along. Now, uh, to talk about like the game design itself, it was a little bit more annoying in places than the main game. Not even really because it was necessarily harder, but because it was so self-contained. So in the base game, there were things, there were times when I hit dead ends in certain trails but I was never truly stuck because I always had different things to do. The star system was just so open that every time I was finding out one thing, I was also finding out other things. And so my list of things to do never really ran cold. Here, it's much more, not linear, but more linear than the base game. And so if you're missing any piece, you're going to get stuck. But I will say this, it's definitely a trade-off. Because when you are able to figure those things out, it feels so good. It is such a unique set of mechanics that enable these puzzles to work, but it's not bad at... Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to discern what it's trying to tell you, but also that's another trade-off for something that's really good. I really liked how unknown these strangers were, how little we got to understand them in contrast to the Nomai. There were clues, but I don't know, it, it just felt so much more spooky and mysterious not being able to hear them speak for themselves. And here's our new beginning, 14.3 billion years later. Isn't that the approximate age of our own universe? There's the new ones. What is... Is that new? Ooh. Oh, it's our scout! <laughs> it survived! Oh, we should have hitched a ride on that thing. We could have individually survived and been the oldest being in existence. Well, that's the end. And I really enjoyed this series. Look at your main hand. Dude! Dude! <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Outer Wilds. Sick! Oh, I noticed it even did the blinking animation as we came in. Oh my god, we can actually roast marshmallows. Hang on, wait, that's not B. This is B. Here we go. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, that looks good. And I just place it by my mouth to eat it, and a new one appears in my other hand. All right, let's bring it back down. Bring it back down. I'm not going to spend time trying to land it on the Atlas Rock. But there we go. <laughs> I can actually use it as, like, a magnifying glass in this view. Like a telescope. Oh, wait, uh, if we get out the signal scope, can we maybe... Oh, we can detect other people's signals. And look, we can even spy the black hole from here. Let's go have a look at one of those tiny anglerfish. Yeah, I'm talking about you. If you're so smart, how come you're trapped in this case? This is actually really gorgeous lighting-wise. And it's the kind of thing that you really only notice a lot of the time in VR. I'm almost afraid to see what happens if we try to view the map. Ooh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I've just been launched into space and not in the way I wanted. Ooh! So much harder in this view. Ooh! And being forced through a narrow slot certainly feels different as well. Good god, that was more disturbing than the sun exploding in my face. Alright, here it comes! Oh my goodness. Oh, this is such a bad idea. 
Oh, we've been launched completely out of it. Uh, uh. Oh, this may not have been a good idea. And here we are. Oof. We are going to want to watch our step. I'm actually really gl grateful for uh, this indicator here that tells us... Boy, am I glad to see you. Uh, I wonder if it'll do the distortion thing. It will. Oh, Hey, Scout. Long time no see. Both excited and terrified at the prospect of flying amongst the storm. Oof. Oh, it really feels like you're entering a different world when you punch through that cloud layer. Uh, you don't want to do something about this, perhaps? No? Okie doke. That is adorable and hilarious. You don't even stop playing, you just float off of your hammock. Gorgeous. And there's one of the buddies we need to get down there. Much as I really don't want to, it was inevitable. And we are now heading straight for Dark Bramble. Okay, oh, this is so much worse. This is so much worse indeed. Please be a- yes! Okay, good. Oh, good. You know, now that I actually take a moment to think about it, this is a real interesting case being made for how this is soil. The one time I'm actually trying to get swallowed whole? Oh my god, gee! I had the ability to target you. Uh, so question, does the autopilot account for the fact that it's moving towards us? I hope it accounts for the fact that it's moving towards us. It doesn't seem like it accounts for the fact that it's... <laughs> and let's hope this works. Look, my shadow on the clouds. That is so spooky. Just keep looking away and looking back and looking away and looking back and looking away and looking back. Uh, maybe only the ship will appear here. Nope. Oh, this is so cool. Seeing how much taller you are than me. And the grace with which you move. And with which you express your annoyance with me. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. That's it. That's literally the only dialogue I came back here to see. Huh. Oh, hey, I've just realized you have three fingers, too. Yep, right there. We got it. We got it. Yep. <laughs> okay, the universe can end now. That was all I came here for. Whoa. Aw, uh, it is so trippy to see the water curve upwards like this. It's like my brain instinctively expects that it's going to come rushing towards me, but it just doesn't. Just came to uh, pay my respects. And to, you know, maybe have a marshmallow while we're at it. <laughs> Actually feels kind of cool to be walking amid the ruins. In this perspective, gives you more of an appreciation for what it once was. The size of it and what it might have been like full of these owl creatures. Oh, oh, wow, I was not expecting that kind of movement! But it's only now I gain an appreciation for just how tall you guys are. Look at the bracelets around your wrists. Oh, this, this truly is advanced darkness. In this view, it's so clear that I can't see more than two feet in front of me with this lantern lit. Now, I'm not gonna try to get down there! No, 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 no! Oh, come on. All right, let's make all of you angry. Oh, 
The issue that makes this difficult is that uh, we need this thing to operate a lot of the things. Okay, well, I guess you can do it now! Uh, uh, ow! Yeah, I mean, I guess they would know that they're not really killing me, but that is one method of disposal for sure.